Hello everybody! So did you react to today? We're here to react to Everything Wrong with Minecraft Live 2 by Element Animations. I'm very excited to hop into this and also, Happy New Year everybody! We just started 2024 and I'm excited to see where things go from here. So yeah, that's all I really have to say so let's just hop right into this. a big one yeah it looked incredible though hmm. Whoa. what happened at this place guys is what the? that you uh <laughs> have been gone for so long who are you it's uh, me james um well, you're old guys <laughs> did we time travel wait, wait, what year is it 2023. Well, not not <gasps> when I no, wait, reacted to this. That's right. We were only gone for six months. Yeah, but in internet time, that's like six decades. Wow. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> you don't work here, James. <laughs> Look, the YouTube play button has already started to fade. No! No! Eric, not the play button! We need to fix this. <laughs> okay, so we have been gone a while, but that's because we were yeah. working on this year's Minecraft Live, where we made some more videos for the oh. show. If you haven't seen our Camel and Sniffer video yet, head over there and show it some love because we put oh, actually, a lot I don't think of I've seen that one. and a lot of work into that one. Let well, me know if that's what really if there's something you want me to react to. Let me know. You could have been making videos right here. Yeah, it's where are your videos? Go watch it. <laughs> Alright, that was really good. <laughs> I'm still upset, and I demand more videos. <laughs> so last time we covered everything wrong with the announce video for last year's show, but we hmm. actually have four more of those videos to cover. Oh, it's been a while. Maybe yeah, it we has. Do a quick recap. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Um. Well, these all look great. <laughs> no notes. That's it. We did it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. No, no. Uh. I've been waiting a long time, and you <laughs> me problems. I know you saw some. You wouldn't be making this video otherwise. True. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he just staring at the that screen means for a second? It's time to find out. Oh. Everything, Everything wrong with our video. Woo! This time it's the rest of Minecraft Live 2022. Cool, because that's the last one I watched. It's the event I didn't tune into the one in 2023. What are those? They're blocks of harsh truths. Dang. There's no point in you making secret rooms in your single player world. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> You'll never experience Minecraft for the first time ever again. Very hmm. true. It's where they show us things that we can't unsee. And it's where we can vote for new mobs. And we're not going to touch that. That <laughs> can stay right over there. Still kind of disappointed the sniffer one. Is, it's those silky smooth but that's just me. infused with the caffeine that the animators are very much addicted to. Hmm. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> so let's jump into the first one. The pre-show bumper. The pre-show is a part of Minecraft Live where we can see cool stuff from the creators in the community before the main show begins. Yes, we I know. We make a little intro for it. So we see this little axolotl swimming underwater. He does a little wave, and then he jumps up to reveal the big community pre-show logo. Yeah. A second later, a train full of minecarts zooms past. Now you yeah, from the, the train from the, from the, the opening video. stuff. That's the yeah, same the, train. the announcement. And that links a few of these videos together. But the first issue is right here. The axolotl has this line going up its stomach. I'm gonna I haven't really looked too closely at Axel Otto, so I didn't even notice. Which some of you might have already sussed out. We, we can only animate villagers. <gasps> wow. What? Oh my That's goodness. Right. Cats out of the bag. It's why we have so much villager content. Then what about so the crack? we need to animate something that's not a villager, we just put a villager in a costume. What? This axolotl? Villager! <laughs> this frog? Villager! <laughs> this tree? Believe it or not. Hello, I am a tree. <laughs> <laughs> <Please don't talk. laughs> okay, let's take a look at what's really going on here. Explaining things. So, the okay. on the stomach and all the glitchiness that you can see here is caused by something called Z fighting, which is more boring than the name suggests. Oh. You've probably seen it before, especially if you play a lot of games. Oh, yeah, I've seen Let's that plenty of times. Heads and flatten them down to single polygons. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, if we move them into each other so they end up inside each other on the exact Wait, what? same plane. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. It's gross. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's glitchy Z fighting. Uh -huh. The reason this happens is because when your computer is rendering each pixel to the screen, it draws all the background objects first, then it draws all the slightly closer objects over those, then closer and closer and so on, huh. until we have the entire image. Nice. But when it comes to objects like these, it doesn't know which one to draw first, like which hmm. one is in front. So some pixels draw one and other pixels draw the other, leaving us with this glitchy mess. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Make it stop. The villagers need to, to stop. Animations we made, anytime a mob has a flat 
polygon for one of its features, we give it a little bit of thickness, just so huh. there's something there to catch the light. And without realizing, we introduced a polygon that overlaps the axolotl's stomach, Dang. causing this line here. Villager! Oh, <laughs> oh, am I too late? Yes, yes, you're too late, late villager. Take close look at the train going by here if you go through frame by frame even with the crazy amount of motion you mean the on, panda you clipping just about tell that none of the mobs are moving they're just frozen oh. in time now this isn't really huh. a problem because the train goes past so fast that you can't really tell true but i'm gonna mark us for this anyway ah. just because i like the sound of the dings Ding! also from yeah. this vantage point you can tell that the train track just ends you don't see it in the shot so we just don't build it this does mean that's how animation works sometimes i'm pretty sure teeny, tiny, oh crash. oh no it's okay these are professional stunt mobs who take their jobs very seriously uh, nice this one's not moving oh no uh never mind uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's two problems in this one which isn't bad but the video is only 10 seconds long so uh hmm. moving on Let's go. After the pre-show, we jump straight into the main show. And that yeah. is an amazing animated introduction. So the intro video we made is an epic ride through the Minecraft landscape with the camera soaring alongside did the look train cool. carrying all the mobs. And like the pre-show bumper, the only way to see this now is on the replay of the live stream itself. There's some links with timestamps below if you want to go check it out. Hmm. Okay, on to the problems. Number one, once the train gets going and we pass through this cave, we shoot through this meadow. And because we're going super fast, the background has a lot of motion blur. But we also hmm. pass by these bees, which seem to be completely unaffected by it. If it makes sense, because bees series, can fly so fast they can do that. I don't know. We have a whole Anyways. bunch of dings for motion blur issues at the end. But this one is different. Back in the announce video, we had a bunch of motion blur issues when the train was moving. And because oh. we're using what we like to call fake motion blur, which is added in after the main image is rendered, glitches hmm. can happen. Especially when you have foreground objects and background objects both moving at different speeds. Like in this video. So to combat that, we rendered every single shot twice. Once oh. with only the train and the mobs, and once with just the background. Interesting. We apply motion blur to each of them independently and then combine them back together, which solved the oh, issue. Oh, clever. Part. But we did set the motion blur for the background a lot higher than the foreground because we wanted it to feel like the train was going extra fast. The only and that's where the bees kind of fall apart in the situation. Sharp bees from the foreground render fly into the really blurry background there. <laughs> Later on, the train comes to a halt to let the frogs from the frog stroll cross the tracks. And this all takes place in a mushroom biome. And mushroom biomes have all these little mycelium spores floating about. The green frog here doesn't pay them any attention at all, even when they go right through his eye. Oh. We then go through another biome where the glow on this magma cube is all streaky. Hmm. A little bit later, we pass under the ocean, and then an alley flies up and bursts out of the water into the Minecraft Legends world. But hmm. he didn't burst out of the water. He burst out of the grass? Huh. All right, so Weird. when we were making this video, Minecraft Legends wasn't released. Even the trailer wasn't out yet. But we were able to get access to this village set that was used in some of the in-game cutscenes. I the see. The only problem was that there was no water close enough to the central fountain for us to use. And we didn't hmm. want to make any edits to the set in case it was something that was super locked in for the game. And we didn't really have the time to do that anyway. Makes so, sense. with the splash happening directly on a transition between scenes, we thought it could still pass flying up through the floor. Yeah, it works. Covered up the evidence with all these splash particles. It works. Oh. We're looking for a criminal. Oh, no! Doctor number 40 has been accused of violating our most sacred law. No what is it? In the grass. No splashing oh. in the grass. Ha! <laughs> uh, isn't that him? <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> oh, no! Get him! Run away! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it just grass? Yeah, it's just grass. <laughs> the rest of the intro video seems pretty solid until you get to a couple of the final shots where the train is riding into the giant white light that is Minecraft oh. Live. Well, look down here. There's oh. no flames or smoke particles on the torches. Oh, dang. Someone must have stolen them. You stole them. Hey, you. You stole them. Buy some smoke. Like actual smoke. Check it out. Uh, nice. Okay, thank you. But they might. Hey, it's oh my goodness! Oh. Make a run for it! Oh. <laughs> ah, I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> that brings the intro video total up but is it an illegal? Uh, okay. Uh, you know that's that's pretty good considering the crazy amount of mobs and sets in this one. Yeah. All right.
right, the next video that we did Damn. was hold up for a second. Huh? We we uh, have a problem. Huh? The budget You're unrendered. is running out. What? We spent too long explaining things. Oh no, we're losing animation. Oh no. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, um, 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 okay, no, 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 that's oh, no. We can still finish this one. We've just got to be really fast. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 it's no, awful. It Stop. Stop it. It's a spooky Please. music video about the big bad warden. This one was very, very cool to work on because we got to use all of this eerie lighting, use lots of particles and make him feel super threatening in a way that you just don't get in the game. And we also got to make a song yeah. about a hostile mob. And if you've seen some of our older videos with- Boom, Michael, boom, and you, know, you don't want to miss me at the end of it. Yep, I remember those. Early in the video, Steve finds some enchanted leggings in a chest. You can tell they're enchanted hmm. because of this shiny purple glint. And he wears them throughout the rest of the video. But after that first shot, they're very clearly not enchanted. Ah. So I didn't even really notice. more of a stylistic choice because we wanted the environment to feel dark and creepy. I thought it was just and meant to be shining for a second. I didn't think it was like enchanted. He He'd just light the entire area up with his bright purple trousers. Hmm. So the characters are trying to be as quiet as they can. But at 21 seconds in, Steve fumbles with this echo shard and accidentally throws it into the air. A second later, Alex catches it. But the chest they got it from snaps shut. Triggering oh. all of the sensors. Oh no! Now let's go back. The chest here completely phases through Steve's arm. Oh come on! This ultimately causes all of the sensors to awaken the warden. Reminds me of the warden, warden rap. Rises up and starts moving towards them, but which is another thing I've watched. This way, they activate this skulk sensor, but this one really should have activated too. Yeah. Eventually, the warden catches up and chases them into this cave entrance where they barricade it as fast as they can. But what's this? There's two white cubes here. Huh. Me into the floor. I, it's I not think snow. These were placeholders for the animators so they knew how far the characters had to run. Oh. But for some reason, they got rendered too. <laughs> the last issue on this video is during the end shot, where the warden digs through the wall to get to the characters. Well, we know this can't actually happen in the game. We're not going to mark it down just because it's. I a mean, it looks cool. cool. It looks what awesome. What going to mark down is the fact that all of the particles were supposed to fall off of the wall, but a couple of them just stayed stuck to it. Hmm. Huh. So the epic Warden musical score comes to another five. We outdid ourselves on these with, with the video, not not the problems, the the, the video. <laughs> all right, how are we doing? Do we have enough budget to do the last one? I think so, <laughs> but I'm just a face now. <laughs> Where's Jason? Oh, I'm here. I'm just a disembodied voice now. Nice! Why is James a full body? Oh, I'm funded uh, by the beautiful people on Patreon. Oh. If we're on the Patreon. <laughs> okay, so the final video we did was for when the main show was over. We had a few ideas for this, but we ended up settling on a little skit with Steve arriving late to the train. He oh, waits at the track man. all day, but the train never comes. I forgot about night, that. A minecart carrying the frogs home slowly glides by, taunting Steve, giving him the biggest FOMO ever. Absolutely Poor cruel. Steve. So, what went wrong with this one? Now, I know a lot of the issues we've picked out on these videos are extremely pedantic. And, well, we're not going to stop now just because we we're on the last one. So, let's look at the frog's feet. They're intersecting the minecart here, floating off to the side here. Dang. <laughs> just completely unwatchable. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> oh, I used to watch this when I was a kid. This is disgraceful. <laughs> <laughs> I am a kid and I think it's okay. Uh. <laughs> Get out. Wow. <laughs> All right, so the very final one is right here. There's a, there's a ball. There's a little ah. ball embedded into the ground. That's weird. Steve. This one is a little bit reminiscent of the, the floaty cube. cube. The floaty cube? We didn't even try to remove this one because we didn't know it was there. <laughs> right, let's pull up the scores. Let's see. Hmm. Wait, we forgot to do something. What? We forgot to do motion blur glitches. Yay! Did you see that the Warden video has zero. And that's because it has real motion blur. Real motion blur. Whoa! So here's the final scores. Add that all together, and you so get something. What do these numbers really mean? Well, nothing. They're huh. almost completely arbitrary. True. You can't even use them to compare one video to another because there are so many other factors. Yeah. This is for fun. And True. overall, this project came out looking phenomenal. There was a crazy amount it of did content, look awesome. all the sets, all the characters, the visual effects, and we were learning new software at the time too. I want to hmm. give a big thank you to Mojang for letting us share all of this with you and give you a glimpse into <laughs> what goes on behind the scenes. And like we've said before, this is just for fun. We enjoy going over our past work and pulling it apart to find all the little intricate details that were missed. Even if hmm. they're pointless. 
Another thing I want to mention is that we feel extremely lucky to have you here watching our videos. And I know it sounds sad. Yeah, they haven't really uploaded really too much. I mean that. Uh, our comment section is always filled with support and positive feedback. And we've seen I mean, some other creators the, the, the videos of this channel are hilarious. Really aren't as fortunate as we are. What I'm trying to say is that it's always a really nice experience reading through everything that you guys have to say. And we hmm. do read all of the comments. Oh, did you read this one? Oh, right. yeah, I saw that one. Have you seen this one? Right. Oh, hey, Dan, have you read this comment from Diary of Day 420? Huh? We don't always respond on YouTube, but if you want to come hang out on Discord, we're usually there if you want to have a chat. And huh. finally, before we go, I want to give a cheeky plug to uh, the Element Animation Minecraft server. What? what? Yeah, they started a Minecraft, Minecraft server? Minecraft, join us on the server and be a part of our community. It's on all versions of Minecraft. You can play on Bedrock and Java. Come nice. play and survive the Minecraft wilderness, take part in our competitions and tournaments. Also, sometimes hmm. Dan comes on and turns your house into cake. But also, I don't know how to feel about that. Do it. But it's okay, because I'll just bribe you with diamonds until I figure out how to fix it. <laughs> anyway, if that doesn't doesn't scare you away, come and play with us. Well, that's hmm. it for this edition of Everything Wrong With Our Videos. Maybe nice. in 2024, we'll do Everything Wrong With Minecraft Live 2023. Just I wouldn't understand that because I didn't watch it. Watching everyone. Yeah, I don't know about Minecraft Live 2023. I didn't tune into that one because, well, I do still play Minecraft every now and then. I don't play it as much as I used to. So I didn't. I decided that I didn't want to tune into that one. But I'm sure it's still a good Minecraft Live. I'm sure it's still really good, but... I just didn't bother with it, so if I did watch the next one, I'd be a bit confused, but yeah, this was a very fun video, very entertaining, and I liked it, so yeah. That's all I really have to say, and thank you all for watching. If you're new to the JJ Reaction channel, don't forget to subscribe, I also do reaction fast to the channel. And if you have anything you'd like to see me react to, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. If I decide to check out the three recommended, I'll give you a shout out to the video the reaction that recommendation. And if you want to see more of me, you can check out my gaming channel, JJ Craft, where we have a lot of gaming, it's a lot of fun there, and yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all around. Peace!